my camera sucks guys I've been literally filming the same intro for an hour straight just because the camera stops recording a lot What's up guys, it's Apey, so I'm finally posting another video after a long week or so. Hopefully you guys miss me, I don't know. But as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail, I'm doing a huge unboxing. I'm pretty much going to be selling all this stuff. And if you guys want to buy anything, make sure you guys watch the whole video and find out how to at the end of the video. Because right now, for the people who most likely won't buy any of this stuff, you guys probably just want to see the unboxing. So I'm just going to unbox everything right away. And I hate to be that guy, but before I unbox everything, please like the video. It really does help a lot and I want this video to do well. And if you guys are down for the channel, and you guys like my other videos make sure you guys subscribe because it does help a lot like I said and I'm so close to 10k and oh my gosh it's just been so long and I honestly hope we can hit it this month because if not FML but yeah first of all we're gonna start off with this cheap ass box like I don't know who would wrap it up like this I actually bought so much stuff that I don't even remember some of the stuff I got that's freaking crazy someone would wrap something with this but okay, that's not the point I don't remember buying this, but I guess I got a blank Nike SB crew neck because it's branded as Nike SB on the back. But yeah, I honestly can't believe that I actually bought a blank Nike SB crew neck. I'm not the type to just buy blank branded stuff, so that honestly sucks. I'm definitely not going to be selling that because that's kind of pointless. Damn, I got to make sure I open some of these stuff carefully because shipping and buying bags for the package costs a lot. Like, look at this dude. He spent $6.70 just to send a shirt. Whoa. Damn. There's a little bit of cracking. This is the Supreme Anti-Hero collab t-shirt. It's got that OG Anti-Hero logo with the eagle buying the Supreme box logo. Super sick. It's also got it on the back. There's a little bit of cracking, but other than that, it's pretty much a perfect condition. I think there's a little bit fading around the neckline, but not only that, you can't probably get a better deal from me. And I doubt you guys can find this pocket t-shirt anywhere online. So this one is a welcome t-shirt. Oh yeah, the Supreme shirt was a size medium. Oh my gosh, this one is in such a good condition. Basically brand new. It's green with pink lettering. This one is a size medium because a lot of my viewers so far and people who do follow me on the account that I sell these products on tell me to get more mediums than large. And I think welcome makes super sick clothing. So I was like, you know, I have to pick this up for the followers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay guys, so I picked up just a bunch of random stuff because I don't know what you guys like and I know a lot of you guys want me to get good deals for you guys. I got this Odd Future shirt. It looks pretty sick. This one is a size small. I'm gonna sell it for a really low price. Probably just gonna make you guys pay for the shipping. Now you got that Odd Future logo on the back and then the Odd Future logo on the front as well. Donuts, gang. I'm not a gang shit. We got the Anti-Social Social Club. Hopefully you guys understood the joke. Yeah, this shirt is super sick as well. Royal blue, you know, wear this to Dodgers game, whatever you guys want to do, you know. And you got it on the back as well. Super big, nice print. And you know, it's probably just better to buy from me if you guys are waiting on your orders because pretty much if you order from them now, you guys are pretty much never going to see your package because you guys already know, anti-shipping shipping club. This one is a size small. If no one wants to buy this, I'm probably just going to keep it for myself because I sold the other ones and I kind of miss wearing the shirt, you know, because it makes you feel anti-social. That's a bad way to promote it. Ah. Oh. Heck, I don't even know what this is. This person sent me gummy bears yeah, with it. Yeah. I have no clue if these are safe to eat, but if anyone buys this, I will send them your guys' way as well. This is kind of a random thing to pick up. Damn, this thing is pretty big. We got the Rip and Dip tote bag, I believe that's what it's called. And I believe you can only get this in LA. You got the normal, picking up the nugs, you know what I'm saying? Or not the nugs, what the heck am I tripping? I'm tripping on shrooms like this thing, you know what I'm saying? And we got the flowers, and honestly, you guys can take this out to a grocery store and put your food in here, you know, save the planet and not use plastic bags, you know what I'm saying? And so you guys don't have to pay 10 cents per bag. I think most people sell these for about $20. I don't know if they sell them in stores or if they just give them away because I've never been to the store and so if you guys aren't from LA definitely get one of these if you guys are into those kind of bags damn this hat is fresh dude it feels crazy too this is called the supreme repeater hat supreme repeater hat supreme repeater hat super good condition I'm definitely not gonna be wearing this because I don't wear five panels I don't know how rare this one is but I know it's made in like 2013 or something so it might be harder to cop and it just has a bunch of supreme logos going all over the place yeah super nice and plain simple hat I think it's one of the cooler hats that they make I actually bought this before I haven't thought about buying all this stuff just to resell but after thinking about it over a little bit I think I might resell it great 
it's not even my size i thought it was in size small you got navy for the torso you got some turquoise on the collar turquoise on the left sleeve you got some yellow on the side palace and some red on the right side i think this is a super dope piece especially if you guys like color okay so this one is fire okay guys i actually have no clue if i'm gonna sell this one this is the nike sb call me 917 collab call me 917 it's not super expensive but it's it's out there you know it's all navy and then you got some red and white stripes on the collar making you look super fancy you get all the numbers in new york you know what i'm saying and then you got the nike sb some sort of patch i'm not really sure what it is but super dope it also has nike sb buttons on this stuff as well so yeah and it's in perfect condition pretty much all this stuff is in perfect condition oh Okay, so this one is not for me, but I was like, hey, this thing is worth a lot. And I don't know why this person was selling it for so freaking cheap, but you got the booty. Let's just Tiana G. I know a lot of you skaters probably know her. She has like 4 million followers. So this is for wearing, not for masturbating. Because I know you dirty little kids out there are probably like, damn, that thing is hot. So hopefully whoever I sell this to is over the age of 18 because uh, this shirt deserves to be respected. Respect. You know, it's made by visual. This one is a size medium. Oh yeah, and I forgot the Nike SB Polo is a size small and the Palace is a size medium. I forgot to start naming the sizes. But yeah, it's so rare like to get a Tiana G t-shirt. Like I almost feel like just keeping it. But you know, if anyone does want to buy it and name a price, let me know. Oh my gosh, I'm down to three packages. It just hurts to be in this position for so long because I've been filming this for like an hour. Oh my gosh, this is so clean. I forgot I ordered this one. This one is brand new. Holy Crap. This is the Adidas Welcome Jersey size medium. Yeah, this one is super rare as well. I don't think you can get it anywhere anymore. It has some writing inside the shirt, so that's pretty sick. You know, it's like in a sick Adidas jersey. I would wear this, but this isn't my size, and I don't ride Welcome, nor do I wear Adidas, which would be super weird wearing Adidas with Nike, you know what I'm saying? It just, I think like that. And then you got the Welcome logo on the back, and you got the three stripes on the shoulders or the sleeves like a lot of the Adidas jerseys do. Super sick piece. I honestly think Adidas makes a lot cooler stuff than Nike as clothing wise go Mike. but you know I just love my Janoskis but yeah great for skating in and great for playing soccer this one seems pretty fast so I'm gonna say this for last I forgot I ordered this one this one is so fresh I've actually never seen this palace shirt. This one is nice. You know, palace usually has the same Trevor almost every single time. So when I saw this, I was like, dude, I have to get it. You got the palace stick at the bottom with the smoke forming the triferg. This one is a size small, so there is a slight chance that I might keep it, but I am not sure. And if someone does buy it, I'm going to make sure I go back to my sick infested home. So you get that cigarette smelling vibe, you know? You want that in a cigarette design shirt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It doesn't smell like cigs right now, so I'll make sure I go back to my home in SD where it smells like cigs, so then that sure smells like cigs, you know what I'm saying? I want you guys to get the real experience. Damn, this guy paid $8.45 for shipping. That is insane. So first of all, we got the burgundy Nike SB beanie. Keep your head warm, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to buy that, rock that shit. Sorry, I always look stupid with beanies. That's why I don't really wear them. Ooh, I look French. Fight. No, I think I'm going to sell this one. This one's going to be so cheap too. This one. I don't know if anyone would buy this. This one is a size medium. But if this fits me well, I'm definitely going to keep it because, you know, why wouldn't you want something that says don't trip, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you have the Kendrick Lamar Nike Cortez, those will look so good with this. This crew neck actually has a special place in my heart. Even though I only held it for so long, I once asked this guy for where the spot was and he just said, don't trip. So next time someone asks me for a spot or the name of a song, I'm just going to be like, yo, read the crew neck. Yo, what's the song that you last skated to? And where's the spot at 227 in the last part? Yo, check the sweatshirt. Don't trip, I. Right? All right, guys, before I explain how you guys can buy all this stuff, I want to show you guys more stuff that I have because I don't think any of you guys want to scroll through all my Instagram posts to find out which things are on sale and which things are already sold out. I got this active long sleeve t-shirt. It's hard to tell on video, but it is a yellow and white active long sleeve t-shirt. It's a collab with active right shot, but then you got Spitfire wheels riding along the side of the right sleeve. I'm still debating if I should keep this or not, but right now it is $30 with free shipping. So yeah, I'm just saying the name for the prices that I already have set right now now just because I don't know the prices for the other stuff yet. And then we got the classic Spitfire Big Head tee. This is a size medium. You can pretty much get it $20 everywhere else, you know, but I have to pay for the shipping and stuff. So hopefully you guys understand that. This one is super good condition, but I don't know if any of you guys like North Face. I don't remember the price for this one, but I believe I'm selling it for $16 with free shipping. I can't really tell the color for this shirt. It's between red, orange, and pink. And then you got a North Face logo on the back as well. I think it's a total cup if you guys do like North Face. And then got another 
another brand new Huff t-shirt. This one is a size medium as well. I just bought a lot of mediums because I assume you guys are a size medium. I actually wear a size small. Yes, I'm a really short dude if anyone is wondering out there. But you got the classic H on the front and you got the classic Huff logo on the back. I think this is a super cool t-shirt. And then it says Dirty Bag Crew. Acronym is DBC. If you guys have ever seen Huff DBC on any Huff clothing. I believe I'm selling this one for $21 with free shipping as well. This one is very negotiable. This one is brand new as well. Size small. I don't know if this is a shirt that you guys should be wearing. Super rare. If you guys know anything about skateboarding history, you guys know. Keenan Forever. He used to ride for Chocolate Skateboards, so this is a chocolate collab. And he passed away, so I'm pretty sure this shirt sold out really quick. I think this shirt will go for a lot in the future, so I am selling it for like regular price. I kind of want $30 at least with free shipping, so I'm pretty sure you guys are getting a good deal. And then we got this independent t-shirt. This one is a size small. I don't know if you guys can find this anywhere in stores anymore as well. If you guys know Volume 4, this is a collab with Volume 4. And they got some crazy graphic on the back if you guys do love back graphics. It's got a school with some trucks coming out of the school. Too crazy for me though. And again, I don't ride independent trucks, so it's not something I'd wear. I'm selling this one for $15 or $14 with free shipping, I'm pretty sure. This one, I wore it once. It's quite life. I decided to just sell it just to post it on Instagram. This one is a size small, $13 with free shipping. Now, I'm gonna hate to let this one go if someone does decide to buy it. And last but not least, we got the undefeated polo. I honestly don't even know you guys can get this in stores. I tried looking for it everywhere online, but because I got it from Undefeated, this thing might be rare. It might even be a sample. I'm not sure. But I'm selling this one for $20 with free shipping. So yeah, that's all I'm selling for right now. Actually, that's a lot. And if this does well, and if you guys like a lot of the stuff that I'm copying, I am going to do like a part two. And I'm going to try to do this like every two weeks or something. I'm just going to try to stack up on a lot of good stuff. If I can find anything cheap from skate shops or whatever. I got two packages right now. But yeah, I'll be unboxing these in the next selling video if this thing does do well. So yeah, if you guys want to buy any of this stuff, all you guys got to do is follow me on Instagram at Hype. You guys actually don't have to follow it, but that's the best way to contact me or know when I'm posting something because I'm not going to be selling all this all at once. I'm going to be selling probably three pieces every other day or something. I just want to space them out. But yeah, because of this video and I don't know how well this video is going to do, you guys might want to be quick on that. Maybe turn on post notifications for the Instagram at Hype. Make sure you guys have PayPal or Venmo to pay me. That's the only way you guys could pay me. And I'm only doing free shipping for people living in the US. And I think shipping to Australia or New Zealand or any other place costs $20 or more. So it's all up to you guys if you guys do want to buy anything. Only message me if you guys are serious because this is kind of like a business thing and I don't want to be wasting my time. Like I'm not trying to hate on you guys. I love talking to all of you guys. It's super sick that I get to interact with people. But it's really annoying when I'm trying to sell something and someone just like, hey, how much is that? Or do you still have this? And then I'm like, yeah, do you want it? And then they're just like, oh, I like your video. If you guys are watching this and you guys did that, don't do that again. And next time I will block you guys because it's freaking annoying. And anyone who does try to talk to me just for no reason, I will block you guys because I don't want to waste my time talking to you guys on like a business account while I'm just trying to talk to people who are down to buy something. But yeah, if you guys do want to talk to me, follow me on Instagram at epay underscore more. I'd be happy to respond to you guys on there. But if you guys do ask anything about any of these clothes on there, I will probably not respond to you guys. And yeah, so as prices go, it is pretty reasonable in my opinion. I don't try to sell it super expensive. And because, you know, most of these shirts are pretty expensive. Like no one's going to give it to me for like $2 or something. Buying one of these things costs money. Shipping costs money. I'm only making like a $2 profit. So hopefully you guys do understand what the pricing and I do base price on how rare something might be so yeah please understand all my pricing I am selling it as low as possible and I am barely making any profit off of this but again if you guys want to buy something hit me up on Instagram at Hype. make sure you guys have PayPal so you guys can pay me or Venmo and if you guys are local you guys can meet up with me I'm not gonna come closer to you but you guys can meet me somewhere I live close by and you guys can pick up the shirt for cash if you guys don't have card don't bother me if you guys have nothing to say or don't even plan on buying anything at all so so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, that always helps. Thanks, yo. Peace out. I'm sorry, 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashes to the party. I want to start off by asking for you guys to like this video and subscribe because I was... <sighs> that scared me.